got a race by the Double Skulls Challenge Cup. Paskovic and Vish, uh, Griffith and Paskovic on the left-hand side. Graves and Graves on the right-hand side. Graves and Graves brothers, Peter and Thomas. Here they go. They'll know each other well. They've been wait, racing together for maybe many years. And here they come, pressing it out of the start. Absolutely, so they're, they're, they're uh, two of three bro uh, three brothers who all rode very well in the US team. Now their father's also a very big supporter. He's here as well. In fact, I saw him out very early on Wednesday morning in a single skull. But um, they're very, very strong. But they're, they're, they're a bit shorter than your typical oarsmen, so they have to be quite punchy with their stroke. And you can see that. They're going to use a bit more rate um, and, and move away. Yeah, it's grays and grays, and there's fluorescent tops on the front of that picture. There being a borrowed boat come over from the Crosby Sculling Centre in the USA uh, against Griffiths and Paskovic, uh, City of Bristol Rowing Club. Had a little bit less far to travel there, but you know, this is a heat of the Diamond Challenge Club. Only elite event for in these small boats, and these guys will be delighted to be part of this regatta. Uh, absolutely. They, they actually used, um, lived here for a period of time with Graves for, for a year when they were younger, so they know the course well, and I think that's what inspired them to row. I was having a conversation with their dad the other day. Um, and they absolutely love Rob rowing in his family. And look at that view. I mean, that's just why Henry's so special. You're rowing down that course and you've got that stunning backdrop behind you. Um, but they've also got a bit more pedigree than the other groups. City of Bristol, they're doing a very, very good job. But I don't think they're quite the sort of international uh, level that the Graves brothers are. And that gives you that extra, that extra um, little bit of uh, leverage that you need in, in this type of race. Yeah, absolutely. We're looking at an international standard crew. They've gone out hard. They've made the most of their opportunity. And now they've dropped the rate. They're doing less strokes per minute. And as we look at Griffiths and Paskovic, they are pressing it on still. They're really calling it and making that effort. But Paskovic, he's racing again in the Diamond Challenge Skulls later. So would you think that at this stage, you know, we might argue they've had their race here. They're not perhaps going to get back on... Um, on terms with the international crew from the USA. So what, what would be your challenge or technique? I think, uh, I mean, what you can see there, the, the Grace brothers just totally relaxed and, and chilled out, and they're, they're, they're really rowing a very nice, low, long stroke and, and moving, still moving ahead. But with Pascovic, I mean, you could argue, yeah, maybe he, maybe he knocked it on the head and decided to not put the effort in, but I, it's very uncommon in rowing. Most mm. people, they just keep fighting towards the end. It's very rare that someone knocks it on the head. But you do have to be quite careful with your energy, Sarah. You've doubled up a few times in the past, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. And it is. It's a real challenge in between whether you've raced and you've got a race in your legs, you know, having raced yesterday and what you do. But look at this, that wonderful shot here. But this double, I mean, look at that lead. They have opened it up. They made sure the first part of the course, they did everything they could do. And actually, Bristol Rowing Club there, they're pressing it on. And then... Um, you know, they are moving their boat, they're giving it absolutely everything they can, but they cannot match this international crew. Graves and Graves, what a fantastic performance. Yeah, and Crashbury uh, Sculling Centre really has great pedigree for, for sculling in the US, and, and the training that these guys will be doing is, is, is on a phenomenal level. They're, they're really uh, one of the few places in the States now where you can train full time. I know there's another uh, area in Princeton where the, where the heavyweight men sweep the base, but they're, they're just rowing that boat so, so well. You can see the, the bounce on the water there. That's something you have to contend with. And all the time when you're in the, re the, the, the lead like this, you're thinking, right, you know, I look good, I'm staying ahead, just don't make a mistake. <laughs> you know, just keep going. Um, yeah, I'm watching them now. They are very, very much together. You can see the similar morphology of the brothers. It really does help when you're in a boat like that. We've seen twins in doubles before, but right now it's Peter and Thomas that look like they are absolutely joined together. They are, look like there's a piece of the string between their hands that cannot even make a small inch of difference, and that is translating into fantastic boat speed. Yeah, and Peter was in the uh, U.S. men's quad at the Olympic Games, so he really does know what he's doing. They're very, very good pedigree. They've won the head of the trials something like 11 times between them. Uh, they, you know, I, I do feel sorry for the sort of see but still, uh, you know, they really got their competition when they showed up today. But that's what Henley's all about. You line up on the start, and you might get, um, you know, you might get. Uh, the Graves brother, or you might get Steve Regrave, who knows? Yeah, and as a, as a club oarsman, how often do you get the chance to stay at, go side by side with an international crew? It is a real opportunity, and you know, you realise the difference in, in boat speeds for perhaps the club standard to the international standard, and that's what we're watching now a really class international standard boat here in Graves and Graves. And I'm going to be really interested what happens tomorrow when they progress on 
in the regatta, meeting other international crews, they're going to have a bit of a tougher race, I think. Absolutely. You've got the South African world champion lightweight double in the event. You've got the, the Brits who are uh, running very strong this season. So it's going to be a very comp competitive event. But this also demonstrates, so you just said, you know, the level of difference in training between international and club rowing. And I remember when I was a club athlete and I was in one of these situations. Yeah, the full-time athletes, the international graves and grains winning that heat of the Diamond Skulls Challenge Cup, making short work, I'm afraid, of um, the City of Bristol crew, Griffiths and Paskovic, looking easy there. They'll be pleased with their morning's work. And here they come through.